If you are a plant enthusiast or if, like me, keeping plants alive feels like a constant challenge, Hortus Fox is here to help. Let's discover this free open source plant manager app. It contains all the tools to manage, keep track and journal your home plants. It is designed in a collaborative way, so you can do it with your partner, friends or family. You can use the live demo link with test account to quickly have a preview of the app. Then, if you want to start using it, you can download and self-deploy it by following their Docker installation guide on GitHub. Or you can use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy it on your server or the cloud provider of your choice while we take care of the installation, backups, updates and maintenance for you. To start using Hortus Fox on our platform, head to ls.io and click on login. Then deploy my first service. Search for Hertz Fox, select, choose between the different cloud providers. And the last option is if you already have an existing server, you can deploy it into it and it's free. I will stick to Hetzner for this video. Choose between the different regions and service plan based on your needs. Then next, you can adjust more advanced configurations. Choose between the different level of support. I will take the first level which is free and included by default. And then, once you're ready, create service. Once the installation is finished, you receive this email. Follow the click here to get the password link. You arrive on Elestio administration dashboard for your Hortus Fox instance. Copy the password to your clipboard here and follow the admin UI link. Type your email and paste your password and then log in. Here you have this nice pixel art landscape, some stats about the plans, location, tasks and users on board, and the name of your instance plus a logo. To make it truly yours, what you can start to do is going to the settings with the cog button. You arrive in the admin area. Workspace is the name you see on the top left. Let's say Elestio Garden Party. You can adjust the language, time zone, choose to enable or disable features that you don't want to use and even if you want to change the appearance you can head to media and change the logo the banner and so on fine so now we have ls your garden party let's add our first plant but to be able to do that we need to add locations because our plant will be attached to specific location so let's follow the create your first location and let's create one. So add location. It has a name, let's say living room. For this example, I will be using room inside one apartment or one house, but you could have a location based on multiple location. For example, you are a business and you need to manage multiple places. You could name it accordingly to know what you have to do on the different plans of the different locations. For the icon, we will keep this one for the first location. Let's add another one, kitchen, and let's change the icon. So we need to type the code on Fontosum. So let's follow the link. I guess it's only the free icons from Fontosum. So by default, it's filtering to those. Let's say a fork because it's a kitchen. You have utensils. You can click on it and you will have this string here, which is what you need to copy. We just need to replace here with utensils. You have the preview on the right. Fine, and add location. Okay, now we have two locations. We should be able to add plants. So let's name it aloe vera. And we choose the location, either kitchen or living room. Let's take kitchen, add it, and it will open this detail page. First, let's attach a picture to it. You can either upload it or specify a URL. I will choose the URL. And because I don't really have plans, I will just search for one in Pixabay. Aloe Vera. There are a ton of that, but let's choose one that could realistically be the one in my kitchen. Maybe this. Right click, copy image address, or you can download it. Paste it, save, and we are good to go for the picture. Now let's focus on all the details of our plant. So the name is what we wrote earlier, but you can still edit it. The scientific name is if you know it, but unfortunately it's just a text editor for the text and you can add a link. It would be great if there was a knowledge base to be able to pick between the plants to know more about them without going out to Wikipedia or else. Then to take actions on our plants, 
you have last watered reports fertilized let's take watered you have this date picker automatically setting it to today or you can click on use today's date and save same for the rest cutting months date of purchase humidity i'm not a plant expert but i guess it's useful then to be able to search for the plants or to perform specific action based on the type of plant you can add tags let's say it's a succulent save it and you will be able to filter all the succulent plants let's say you water them once a month it's easy to find them like this and you can also add notes to it so if you are doing it with friends family or someone just coming to water your plants you can add some instructions for example here please water lightly once a month save and details are here you can add additional pictures for example to see how it is going how it was before how it is growing or not growing and you can also see the plant log which is the audit trail of who did what and when on this page so you can see when it was updated to track who made the modification and you can also add entries manually all right let's go back to the home click on your name we have seen plans and locations, but you also have tasks. Here it is a very simple task manager. So you can create a task, let's say water X. I don't know which plant it is, the description and the date. Unfortunately, you can't attach plants or a group of plants, which will be very useful to know what plant it is related to or what location it is related to. Maybe it will come in the next versions. But for now you have it. You can check down and you have your simple to-do list. The good point is that it's shared with other users using Hortus Fox with you. On the same basis, you have the calendar here where you can add dates. So I guess it's not a task, but maybe it is because you choose the class. So watering, maybe it's to report events. So let's say watered succulents from until, and you will do it in that period of time. The other downside, in addition to not being able to attach plants or locations, is that you can't make it a recurring. I'm no plant expert, but I guess if you want to water your plants every day or every week, you would be able to select a cycle and it will repeat the task automatically, helping you be sure it's done instead of creating it for every day. All right, we can add it and we see it on the calendar. When you have set up everything and you are just coming here for a new day, searching for what to do, you can use the search bar. And here you are able to search in everything. So let's say you only want in the tags, you would search for succulent and you will find the aloe vera. In this way, you know you want to water all the succulent. You go to them one by one. You open all of them. One stone, either you go to last watered and you click on use today date and you save it again. Or better, you can go to the locations, open kitchen, and from here, you can set watered, select all the plants or one by one and set watered, which is the most user friendly place to perform actions on your plants. You can also use a chat to communicate what has been done, what needs to, to be done. Please bring some pots for the new cactus. Send and your friends, family will be notified and you can manage everything related to your plants in Hortus Fox. This is a website and for the video I'm showing it to you inside a desktop, but of course it is mobile friendly and every screen is responsive, so you can use it freely on the go. And as always, I recommend to check their documentation for features I didn't cover or if you want to see more in depth what the tool is capable of. For example, inventory, you have well-detailed documentation telling you what it is, how it works and what you can do. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering Hortus Fox with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. And if you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video, available here.